So say I'm a developer or SRE or a similar role, and I know that a service within my system has an elevated error rate from an alert that I just received or from, from some metrics. Uh, following the example query we were seeing before, we could easily translate it to something like this, right? Uh, resource service name equals server, again, the name of my application. Within that application, we're looking for errors. And we could already feed that to Tempo and we would get um, results back, a list of traces that match that criteria. Now, what you typically would do is you would open a trace, then another one, then another one, searching for attributes and variables that correlate to the issue that you are investigated. Now, what you could use instead is use metric summaries aggregate by variables that you believe or suspect could be relevant and get that information straight away. So I know my in my server, I'm serving an API. I want to check if there's any correlation to the different endpoints in my application. So what I'm going to do is aggregate by HTTP targets, which is an attribute uh, in my traces. If I do that, I will get a table like this one, uh, which contains a summary of my tracing data aggregated by that very uh, variable that I passed. You can see at the left, there is uh, all the different endpoints listed, and then we have uh, different metrics, such as uh, span count, that's the number of occurrences, the error rates, and different um, latency percentiles. So uh, what I can do is, for example, sort by error rate. And on top of seeing that my server doesn't work very well, there's error rate everywhere. Uh, in particular, there is uh, um, an endpoint slash account that has a higher than normal error rate. Cool. Uh, but I can go one step further. So tracing uh, is commonly used to sort high cardinality data, such as account IDs, user IDs, pod names, queries, uh, basically anything. And one of the strengths of Tempo is that it's, it is able to handle these very high cardinality data very well, even at query time. Uh, primarily thank to, uh, thanks to its column-oriented uh, storage layouts. And I'm going to go into detail about that. But if you're interested, then just find me uh, after the session. Uh, but yeah, what this means is that I can take the previous query and aggregate by something like user ID and see if the errors are concentrated in a particular customer. What you see now on the screen is the amazing and fantastic query builder in Grafana for Tempo. What I'm doing at the top is selecting the um, name of my application I want to filter by, and immediately I get a trace call query at the bottom. So this is a great introduction to uh, the language for anyone unfamiliar with it. Then on top of my previous aggregation I was doing before by HTTP targets, that's the, the attribute for the different endpoints, I'm also going to aggregate by user ID. If I do that, I will get a new table, very similar to the previous one, but this time aggregated by both variables. Um, so again, I will sort by error rate, and I can see that within my slash account endpoint, there is a particular um, user that is concentrated of the errors. In summary, with metric summaries and two quick aggregation, I've been able to discover two new variables that correlate nicely to the issue that I was investigating from my original starting point. This can be um, especially valuable as you scale and you grow and you have more services and more endpoints. Being able to get these summaries um, gives you a good high-level understanding of the health of your system.